TikTok and Instagram at a brat, but y'all already knew that. And I'm back at it again with another vlog. So as promised, I'm giving y'all an empty apartment tour slash a little tour of Holly Point Commons, which is where I stayed at um, for the duration of my job, my summer job. I will not be staying here this fall. So I felt like it was important for me to get this video out for you guys in case you want to join the RU family and if you are moving into Holly Point this fall as an incoming freshman or a returning student and you've never lived here before, you got a little feel and idea of what Holly Point is really giving. Honestly, to me, Holly Point gets like an 8 out of 10. Um, I love the style of um, the dorms. It's super, super nice. Very clean. Um, there's a variety of bathrooms to choose from, from men's, uh, women's, all gender. Um, I love the lounges on each side of each floor. I love the fact that there's a Starbucks downstairs, which I'm going to try to show you guys. Um, and I have a Holly Point Diner, which is buffet style. So if you're here for the year or a visitor, they, they got the food down there. They didn't give our kids that, but that's an option. Um, and that's why it kind of sounds loud in here because I packed up all of my belongings. I'm gonna miss it here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but let's get on with this empty room tour, okay? I stayed in E518, and what I love about Holly Point, because it's so big, they're separated by pods A through F, I believe. So this is my hallway view, right? And look, an all gender bathroom right across the room, across the way from my room, which I freaking loved. It was so convenient. I was never too far from the bathroom, but me being me, I would always, <laughs> oh yeah, and we'll, I'll show you down here, but this right here, you can't really see the sign, is the gender, the all gender shower, honey, loved it. But another thing that I love about Holly is that you get these key cards to access your room by a fob, basically, and this is the room. <laughs> Beautiful view, honey. But another thing that I love about Holly Point is that your dorms come with uh, microwaves and little mini refrigerators that actually have a freaking freezer and honey it works and it's free and included in your tuition okay the only thing that i don't like about holly though is the lighting this is this light right here that you see that's all the light that's all the lighting you get all this is natural lighting but honey if you ain't got no light that's the light that you're gonna get so now that we're in the room you have double everything, of course, because this is a double room meant for two people. So you have the two uh, twin beds, the two closets. I'll show you what this looks like. They're pretty decent sized closets. I can't even lie to you. I didn't really use these a lot. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't really like stuff them and go crazy. Um, so here are the beds and I'm going to turn around in a second. You got your two desks, which I love because they're freaking huge. That's my iPad and stuff because I'm still, you know. And this is the other side of the room. So this is what it looks like. It might not look that big on camera um, because of I'm me recording with my phone. But it's actually a pretty, pretty decent size. I can't even lie. Um, and, of course, the beautiful Holly Point view. Okay. I love the structure of this building. It's very, very sleek. They did their big one when they made this. Um... Over there, you probably can't really see because it's kind of blurry, but over here is the boulevard where I will be staying at. Um, you got the Honors College, 7-Eleven is over there. Um, you can see the parking garage here, one of them, and this is, I want to say, Robo? Yes, Robo, I think. Um, and Holly is just like its own little community. I can't even lie, like, look at that. You have tables and chairs. You have stuff down here to put your bikes at and secure them. Um, and all the buildings are pretty much designed the same. Um, and as you can see, we have light fixtures outside. There's plenty of space for you to relax. Emergency, um, the emergency pole in case you have an emergency. I freaking love it, okay? Um, it's the best thing ever. So now, I'm finna, oh, and there's cameras everywhere. Hi, say cheese. Um, those are one of my kids. He's leaving. He's done his project and he said he's out of here. He had me cracking up because they, he had a time, okay? <laughs> a time. Like I said, another thing I love about Holly is that they're marked off by pods. So we were just in the E pod where me and my group were staying. Now we're gonna enter F pod. 
Um, and it's pretty this much the same thing. It's repetitive. So you have the men's bathrooms. There's three bathrooms in each. You have the sinks, which are shared by everybody. Um, six sinks. Uh, the one thing I can say, though, is that I don't really like that they have community bathrooms. Hence, community bathrooms and showers. Hence why, here's the woman's. Hence why um, I rated this whole dorm a 8 out of 10. Because it's good. It's just, I'm not with that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Then you have the staircase. There are two sets of staircases. And there are also seven floors in Hotly. So, I need you to math. Here's the trash room. And here's your laundry on the floor. We are currently on the fifth floor. This is what it looks like. It kind of stinks in here, can't lie. We love that. Another thing that I love about Rowan's campus is that we have these automatic water fountains where you can get you some fresh filtered water. All you gotta do is just put your water bottle under there. The water will dispense. It's 2023, nobody's really using regular water fountains anymore. And I feel like they implemented a lot of these after COVID because germs, you know. So this is one of the lounges. I think this is insane that they have furniture in here. Ex ignore my fucking Apple Watch, don't know what she's talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, Holly Point has a lot of these lounges, which I love. There was literally no furniture in here until today, so. Got your little monitor, little seats. And again, look at this gorgeous ass view. Like this is literally all of Rowan's campus, seriously. <laughs> and um, I wanna say right here, that's the Honors College where 7-Eleven and stuff is. Um, the rest of the building, um, parking garage, Robo is actually right here. So back there where I pointed in the other clip, that's um, where I'm going to be staying. Um, just, uh, I'm going to miss it here. I also love that, of course, since Holly has seven floors, they have elevators. So you can take the option of using the elevator or the flights of stairs, depending on what floor you're on. I'm telling you right now, since I've been here, never touched the stairs, never was doing that. <laughs> um, but this is the F pod or yeah, F pod elevator. So we're gonna go down. And yes, y'all, you have to refresh your key cards because if you don't, and I'm gonna show you how to refresh your key card, um, it'll stop working and you won't be able to get into your room and you don't wanna have to hassle the staff. Um, so what I love about this elevator specifically is the fact that it's kind of private. Like you literally have to have one of these as a student to get back in here. And um, I feel like the main lot, the main elevator in the front is where everybody and their mama be at. So we love a secret getaway to get into our rooms without having to, you know what I'm saying? Um, be with the crowd. There are people that you'll see walking around here. A lot of people are moving in. I think freshmen are moving in. Um, it's a lot of different groups, STEM, Ascend, it's a lot going on, girl. Uh, <laughs> school might not have started, honey, but it they're lit. Right here, these doors that these people are going into is Holly Point Diner. I would go in there and show y'all, but it's I don't got time. It's too hectic. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Let's take a brief little intermission because housekeeping is trying to clean these rooms out. Baby, we still here. They just on campus in the engineering building. I don't know what the hell is taking them so long because they were been supposed to be done. I don't know if they're getting lunch now or whatever the case may be, but I'm just so tired of the miscommunication. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, but yeah, brief intermission, um, cause I'm gonna stay in this hallway to make sure that nobody's stuff gets touched, shut doors that are open. Why the hell my students left their doors open? I will never know. Like, I don't care if the school year started, you never leave your freaking door open. Like, what's the problem with you? Get it together. Anyways, I'll be right back. Anyways, let's continue with the tour. So like I said, there are sinks on each side of the hallways. And if you notice, I just walked by this. There are motion sensors, so they'll flicker on and off. They're never on too long. I don't know what the fuck. Maybe need to stop leaving our doors open. I don't need none of their stuff taken. Um, there's a restroom here for anyone that is um, 
disabled. Again, another staircase. We're gonna make our way down the hall to the main elevator. And this right here is my favorite part. People are cleaning because they're trying to get us up, up out of here. We're trying to get it. Um, this is in the way. But as you can see, this is one of the lounges. This is the main lounge that me and my kids in this pod have used. Nice, decent size. And of course, the view is just beautiful. One of my kids, um, their parents is coming to pick them up, which that is completely fine with me. It's giving very much they checking themselves out and going home. So I'm cool with that. But here's the main elevator to this floor, um, as you can see. Just waiting for it to come up. I also love about this elevator is that they will have things like this posted up because everybody locks themselves out their dorms every now and then. I almost did twice, but by the grace of God, my door stayed open and we just gonna thank him, okay? We going down. I'm having too much fun filming this tour. I kid you not, because when I first got here, when I first got here for my job, I was not that excited. I had to mute this clip because they were playing music and I'm filming, but not paying attention. But yeah, I was saying over there is D-Pod. It's literally identical to the pod that we were staying in. Um, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pod, I swear. Main lobby of Holly Point Commons. Um, and I'm taking y'all outside to show y'all how to refresh your key cards. Let me show y'all how to refresh your card. So to refresh your card, you just scan it like this. Let's see how my access works. The door's already open, so of course it's not gonna open. That door right there, which I love, is also um you need your card to access it. But Coming outside, because it's so beautiful. This is the the center of Holly Point Commons, ladies and gentlemen. Look at just, I can't even lie. They, <laughs> contractors and construction snapped. So at the end of each part of Holly, and I'm gonna turn around and show you too, these right here are all lounges that align with each floor. So, as you can see, this is E-Pod where I've been staying with my kids and this is D-Pod. Everything is the same. Um, it's just flipped on opposite sides. I love how, I think this is the second and third floor, have um, these long hallways with this um, beautiful view to you know go to and from. And then, you know, we're all the way up here, honey. But it's nice. And there goes one of my other kids. They're all leaving and I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss them. But it's basically the same. Um, what else did I wanna show y'all? Oh, the inside. I just decided to leave my door open at this point cause they're gonna walk by anyway and I'm fully dressed. All my stuff's packed, ready to go. And like I said, they're starting to trickle in. But this is the view with the door open. As you can see, the all gender bathrooms is right across the way. And listen, if you, get this room honey you're lucky very very blessed because who can say that they can go right to the bathroom literally right across the hall that's one of my kids honey we finna resume this tour because i need to show y'all the parking lot so y'all can get the t1 parking and i can show y'all the front you know that's just bye <laughs> Oh, but first, now that the lobby is clean, <sighs> look at this freaking view, child. Like, can you stand it? We just had to take a moment of silence for the view. Um, <laughs> this house here is a frat house, honey. Yeah, and not the frat house that we're thinking of. Um, I believe this house here as well is a frat house. Any houses surrounding Rowan, um, that, well, the frat houses, you can kind of tell they're frat houses. I mean, of course, there are people, residents of Glassboro living, um, in between these houses, but you catch my drift. Um, these are the other lounge rooms I was telling y'all about. Listen, we be nosy up in here. 
Um, and this is also Holly's parking lot. I'm probably gonna go outside when Kendra pulls up um, to show y'all, but they have decent parking. Um, I'm not sure if incoming freshmen can bring their car. I know it's usually a rule that incoming freshmen aren't allowed to, but baby, what? Tell me, you telling me I could bring my whip and park right in front of my door? Oh yeah, girl, I'm doing it. Who just pulled her black ass up to come help your girl out? My fucking sister. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is after the vlog was obviously completed. So after this clip, Kendra pulled up on me and at the end of the clip, you hear her ass yelling, talking about, I know you're not recording me, girl, shut up. Anyways, um, so apparently, I guess we didn't have to stay to make sure that the kids had got checked out because they were with their parents. I had no knowledge of that. So I was literally just waiting around for all of them to come. And I was doing that in the middle of me filming this video. Um, I forgot to show y'all the showers, which I'm so, 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 so sorry. That was the, the best part. Um, but literally how the showers are at Holly Point, which I also love too, even though they are public, um, you open up the door to the shower, um, like the shower room, and then each shower has a door on it. So when you're inside of the shower, you basically have like your own personal space behind a door, a long door, no less. Um, and then your shower is in the back of that door. So it's pretty spacey. It's pretty roomy. I don't have any pictures or anything like that. I'm so, so, so sorry. I really wish, really wish that I got that on camera. I thought I did. And rolling back now to these clips, I did not. Um, listen, trying to film a tour in the middle of making sure your kids are okay from the program is insane. Um, I know to never try to do it again, but I think I did pretty good. Um... What else? What else? That was really it. Um, I got the main aspects of Holly Point Common. So if you are living there this fall or, um, you know, you're incoming freshman and you'll be living there, that is what Holly Point Commons looks like. Um, I had nothing. I had no problems with Holly Point. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Just when you're not in a building, like I used to go in and out of Holly Point when I had um, a friend that stayed over there and it just seems like it's its own entire world. But now actually being in there, it's like, wow, like I know my way. So that's so funny. But thank you guys for tuning in so much. I love you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, not so formal um, tour of the Holly Point Commons here at Roman University. Okay, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.